Welcome to the much awaited update of Sour Apple build log. Now, I haven't done this in a while. Last time we did this, the case was in pieces on my bed at school, and uh, that was probably, I was just before the summer, so like four months ago. And now Sour Apple is nearly completed. As you can see, we've got a motherboard in here. We've got the start of the water cooling loop. I'm waiting on a couple more parts, including a reservoir and pump top, and then a couple more fittings. So I've got some more parts which go in here. So we've got this temporary bridge from the RAM down onto the flexible tubing, uh, which will be replaced when I get back to school. I just don't have a heat gun to bend acrylic here. And then we also have the run from the CPU down to the flexible tubing. So the majority of the loop is made up of um, E22 hard acrylic tubing. It says in the name, it's hard, you can't bend it. You heat it up with a heat gun, bend it around a former, and you get this really nice bent acrylic. So I've got a long piece here, which is just bent around a mould, and the same with this piece here, which just slots in like so. And it just uses push fittings, um, which are actually pretty secure. In terms of the motherboard, we have the ASRock Z87M OC formula, which I bought a while ago. And on there we have a 4770K, which I'm looking to overclock quite a lot. Uh, radiators hasn't changed, we've still got three in here. We've got two Alpha Cool uh, ST30 240mm rads, and we have a Swiftec, same 30mm rad in the bottom there. Uh, all cooled by six Corsair SP120s, quiet additions. And all of those fans are run off one uh, six-way splitter, um, so that'll be powered by the motherboard, and I'll probably uh, undervolt that as well. I have completed the front panel switch, which is actually going to be stealthed behind the front panel, so you just press the corner of the front panel, and that fires the system up, but if need be, there's also a power switch on the motherboard. I'm reusing RAM from my last build, uh, so that'll be 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, but this is using the EK Monarch uh, water block and adapter kit so that you can screw it on. So to start with, there won't actually be a graphics card in this build, it'll be running off integrated graphics. And an interesting test will be to see what performs better, integrated graphics on the 4770K or the graphics card that I had in my old system, which is an HD 6770 or 6670 one or the other and I have a feeling that the integrated graphics is going to win but that will be an interesting video to do when the time comes. As I said we're nearly ready to go with this build. Um, I'll be reusing the power supply, RAM and SSD and hard drive from my current build and then over time I'll replace them. Uh, this is going to be a pretty compact build because we've got a reservoir to come in here um, on this front radiator, right in the corner. It just about fits with this RAM block when it's closed. We're going to have power supply up here in the original position. Here is going to be this mount, which allows the mounting of four 2.5 inch drives, so either SSDs or hard drives, so laptop hard drives. And then actually the other day I worked out that you can fit a 3.5 inch hard drive in this area here. It won't interfere with the graphics card when that goes in. So it's actually one year to the day since I first built a computer, which is uh, my current computer, I guess, which is actually in pieces behind the camera just there. Um, that's been through a couple of revisions. I'll give you a quick look around it in a second. But I thought I'd introduce you to what's probably going to be my next project, which is this. PlayStation 2, fat version, plenty of room in there for what could be a cool, compact computer. I'm Thinking sort of along the lines of Mini ITX, Pico power supply, big hard drive, and not a lot else. But yeah, that's what's to come next, hopefully. I'm um, also working on a G5 at the moment uh, for uh, client Hackintosh, which I put part one of that video off a while ago. Um, there will be a build lot coming of that soon, um, sort of midway through that. Uh, it's all going pretty well. So I think that pretty much wraps it up for Sour Apple and there'll be another video when this is done, uh, so hopefully in a couple of days, not in a couple of days, a couple of weeks. Uh, as you can see, the paint job is starting to go on this, 
Uh, I've dropped various things on it, so I'm going to buy some more paint, get some clear coat, and once I've finished building it completely, I'll redo all the paint. Uh, there's no point reading it now because I'll only get it damaged again. So thanks for watching. Also, if you don't like Alienware, uh, leave a like or leave a comment down below. Uh, so please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks.